Good morning! Happy day, friendies! It's halfway through the week. It's wah, wah, Wednesday. There's our W day of the week. And I'm happy that you're here. We have a lot of fun things to do. So let's get started. Stand up for the pledge. Right hand on heart. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Fabulous job, friendies. Thank you so much. Have a seat. Have a seat. Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadoos. I'm happy to see you. Today is Wednesday, May. Hmm. Yesterday was the 19th. 19 plus 1. It doesn't start with the digit 1. It's 20. You're right. We've had 20 days in our month of May. Let's get started. We're still talking about our letter W. Get up your sign for W. Five wuh sounds for watermelon and wagon. Ready? Wuh, 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 wuh. Nice job, nice job. What would your name be if you were a W friend? What would it be? Tell me. My name would be Mrs. Wuh, wuh, Wangleheart. Oh, that's kind of funny. Let's talk about X. Get your pirate up. Arr. X, ready? Remember X says X, X. Here we go. What would your name be if you were an ex friend? Does it sound silly? There aren't too many ex names. There are a few. My name would be Mrs. Zengelhart. That's kind of funny, but I like being an e friend, Mrs. Zengelhart. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the letter W and the letter X. We're also going to talk about our season of spring. Remember, we are in the season of spring. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There are four seasons in all. So let's talk about spring. I have a book. Mm, I don't know if your parents are gonna like the things that we're gonna see in our book. They're kind of a pain in the neck. Let's see. I'm gonna, let's see if you can figure it out. I'm gonna give you clues. My book is all about something that grows. They're all over your yard. They're yellow and they pop up all over the place. And usually grown-ups don't like them too much. They're not really a pretty, pretty plant. What do you think? Make a prediction. You wanna see? <gasps> Did you guess dandelions? Mm, they're all over my yard. I picked some. Let's see what this book is about. Are you ready? I'm gonna bring it close so you can see. So yesterday we read a book about Curious George flying a kite, and that was a silly made up book. We know that that book was Fiction, you do. Fiction, fiction. Monkeys can't fly kites. That's a silly book. But today, I have a book. It's not silly. This is Real Facts Learning, and this book is nonfiction. You do. Nonfiction. Nonfiction. Let's see what we can learn about dandelions. The title of my book is From Seed to Dandelion. Let's see how this plant grows. This was written by Jan Kotke. She wrote it, that means she's the author, you got it. And this is nonfiction, so there's no illustrator, no one to draw pictures, but there are some photographs. From seed to dandelion, let's count the words in our title. One, two, three, four. And I see more words up here, let's read what these say. How things grow. Oh, maybe we'll learn how a dandelion grows. <gasps> oh, remember we talked about this the other day? This is called the table of contents. This tells us what we're gonna learn about and what page we'll find it. You'll use that when you're a little older at school. Ooh, did you ever see these? You've seen them? Have you ever blown them like this? We're gonna talk more about that too. These are dandelion puff balls, you say. Dandelion puff balls. Puff balls are made of dandelion seeds. The seeds fall off the stem. Oh, we've been talking about the word stem, right? That's the part of the plant that goes up from the roots and brings nourishment or food and water to the top of the plant. The seeds are blown by the wind. Look at this, friendies. Sometimes the wind blows them. Sometimes do we use wind in our breath to blow? Yep. The wind carries the seeds. They will make more dandelions. 
Did you ever notice there's like lots and lots of dandelions all over your yard? Uh-huh, me too. Ooh, a seed lands in, what is this called? We know plants need it to grow. It's really, really healthy dirt. Soil, you're right. A seed lands in soil. A new plant is growing from the seed. Do you see the new plant? I see it too. Oh, friendies. Let's count these dandelions. Ready? Count with me. Make your mouth match my finger. One, two, three, four, five. I bet there are a lot more than five dandelions on your, in your yard right now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, me too. There's lots in my yard. The dandelion flowers begin to bloom. Ooh, that's a fancy word for plants that grow. They have green leaves all around them. Dandelions grow all over. They grow wherever seeds land. A lot of seeds landed in this field. Look at that field, friendies. It's a lot of dandelions. Now it is covered with dandelion flowers. Look at those. These are full grown dandelions. Dandelion flowers have many petals. Look at all those. That would be a lot of counting, friendies, if we counted all those petals. Mmm, what's that? Do you know? Buzz, 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 buzz. Bees bring pollen to dandelion flowers. Pollen helps dandelions to make seeds. More dandelions will grow from these seeds. And here's all the new words that we talked about in our book. And these are all different books. Maybe you could look for more books about dandelions. What do you think? Did you like that book? I hope so. Let's give ourselves a one, two, three whoosh for doing great listening. Ready? One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Nice job, friendies. Alrighty, so we've been talking about things that we do in the season of spring. Are you ready for my umbrella? Let's try to pick two more. Here we go, ready? I've got an umbrella. What's inside? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm not peeking. No peeking. No peeking. And I have two in my hands. Let's see some of the other things that we do in the season of spring. <gasps> oh, good one. Catch butterflies. Isn't it fun to try to catch butterflies? Okay, let's sing our song about catching butterflies in the season of spring. This is the way we catch butterflies, catch butterflies, catch butterflies. This is the way we catch butterflies all spring long. Nice job, guys. Oh, I like this one. You ready? These words say, ride my bike. Do you ride your bike when it's nice out? Do you? It's okay if you still have training wheels. That's okay. Someday you won't have training wheels anymore. Keep at it. Did you already take your training wheels off? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ride your bike, ready? Oh, gotta put my helmet on, I almost forgot. Safety first. Now I'm ready. This is the way I ride my bike, ride my bike, ride my bike. This is the way I ride my bike all spring long. Nice job, friendies. Tomorrow, we'll pull out two more things that we do in the season of spring. But first, we need to sing a song about flowers because we know in the season of spring, what starts to grow? start to grow, right? And what do plants, flowers need to grow again? Tell me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. Did you say sunlight, water, and soil or healthy dirt? Nice job. This is called five little flowers. So get up your five fingers and count me down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're ready. Five little flowers are gro uh, growing in a row. Are you ready to help me count? Here we go. Five little flowers growing in a row. The first one said, I'm purple, you know. The second one said, what color? I'm pink as can be. The third one said, I'm blue like the, what rhymes with B? Body of water. See, you got it like the ocean. The fourth one said, I'm a very red fellow. You know this next one. Rhymes with fellow. 
The fifth one said, my color is yellow. Nice job. Then out went the sun, big and bright, and the five little flowers smiled in delight. Nice job, friendies. Air clap, air shout. Thank you so much. Count me down. I think I can do it in five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. That was quick. Thank you so, so much. Okay, friendies. So we are in the season of spring and we're talking about our letter, letter W. Where's my wand? I thought I'd bring back my spring wand from yesterday because it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. So let's see. Yesterday was 19. That means today is 20. Today is mm -mm, May 20th, 2020. Friends, can we count up to 20? We're big. We counted way higher than 20 before. Get your body ready for slap cup counting. Crisscross, hands in lap. Eyes looking, looks at you. Let me look, let me look. I'm gonna give you a, is that a bibbity bobbity boo? I'm gonna give you a gzibbity with an X. Gzabbity, gzoo. Ready? Gzibbity, zabbity, gzoo. That sounded funny. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh no. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, friendies. I'm so embarrassed. I forgot to put our next gumball. Put your pound and goggles on. Boop. Can you help me figure out what gumball's supposed to go next? Ooh. We know it's an ABB pattern. Let's see. You said blue, yellow, yellow. What should be next in an ABB pattern? Is it blue? You're right. Let me get that blue one, friends. I forgot a blue one. Good thing you're here. What will tomorrow be? Hopefully I won't forget. Mm, I think you're right. It will be yellow. Friends, I'm not spinning that today. It is sunny where I am. What's the weather like where you are? Are you happy about that? Or not so happy? <laughs> Sometimes I'm happy about the weather, sometimes I'm not. But this week seems like it's gonna be a good week where I live. I hope the weather is nice where you are. Let's see what day of the week it is today. Is it Sunday? Family time, every time. Is it mm -mm. Monday? Mm -mm. Is it t -t Tuesday? Nope, that was yesterday. Whoa, whoa. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday, the middle of the week, and there is our W word, Wednesday. Let's do our rhymes, friendies. Ready? King, ring. King, ring. One more. King, ring. Mm. Let's try to write the rhymes with king and ring. Mm. How about bing? Have we said that one yet? I don't think we said that one yet. Let's do our W words. Ready? Wah, wah. Wagon, switch hands. Wah, wah, watermelon. How about our X words? Remember, X is at the end of the word. Ready? F fox. And how about six? Ready? S six. I hear that at the end. I hear that at the end. Nice job. Okay, friendies, I have a couple things for you to do today. A couple crafts. Are you ready? All right, grown ups, go outside and pick dandelions. I have a bunch here. Friendies, how many do you think are there? Oh, I dropped one. How many do you think? Will you count with me? Let's see if your prediction was correct. Ready? Make your mouth match my finger when I set it down. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I dropped one. Oh, there's two. Six, seven. Eight. Nice waiting. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
18, keep going, we're almost there. 19, 20, 20. So we're gonna have to pick those dandelions, make a little chart that looks like this. Friendies, I see letters. We know that letters make words. Let's read it. Short, mm -mm, medium, and long. Sort these dandelions into how long their stems are. Long. Let me grab a little teeny one so you can see. This guy's a short one. Can you see him? And medium. Okay, so count count the dandelions, sort them, then have some fun and do some dandelion painting. All I did was dip these in paint. Here's a dandelion, friendies. Here's a red flower and an orange flower. Talk about the parts of the flower, the petals, count the petals, stem. I forgot my leaves. Roots down here and here's the sun. So paint with those. You could also tie in some literacy, make some letters. There's a W and there's an X, friendies. Or maybe write your name. Or maybe write your last name or your family's names. All sorts of things that you can do with our dandelions. Let's end with our positive affirmations. I am brave. I am kind. I am smart. I'm strong. Thanks for joining us at Mrs. These Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock. Have a super duper.